In this video, I'm going to show you how to read Google Playbooks on an Android device. First, open your Android phone and ensure you have the Google Play Books app installed. Once it's installed, tap Open either from the store page or by finding it in your app drawer. Now that you're inside the app, you'll be on your home page where you can explore and purchase different books. To see the books you've already bought or uploaded, tap on the Library option at the bottom of your screen. Here you'll find all of your books neatly listed. Any book that has a checkmark icon next to it indicates that it's already downloaded to your device and can be read offline. If you see a download icon instead, it means the book isn't yet saved on your device. Simply tap the download icon, then confirm by tapping OK. The download will start immediately, and you can even swipe down your notification bar to see the download progress there as well as inside the app. Once your book is downloaded, simply tap on it to start reading. If it's an ebook, you'll see a slider at the bottom of the screen that you can use to jump to different parts of the book. You can also tap on the preferences icon at the upper right hand side of your screen. Here you'll find several helpful settings. Under lighting, you can turn on the reading night light, which is especially useful if you're reading at night, as it reduces blue light and makes reading more comfortable. You can also adjust how the text appears by changing the font style, size, and alignment to whatever is easiest on your eyes. Similarly, you can open any other book the same way. If it's an audiobook, you can listen to it right from here. You can even go to a specific point in the audiobook and tap the bookmark icon at the top of your screen to save your spot. To view these bookmarks later, tap on the three lines at the top right of your screen and then switch to the Bookmarks tab where you'll see everything neatly listed. And that's how you can read all your Google Play books on an Android device.